Hi, welcome to Mama Four Boys, and this is Tommy, and today I'm going to make Mexican shredded beef. And we'll probably put this on some uh, low-carb uh, soft tortillas. And so the first thing you're going to do is I have here a uh, plate that I've made. I'm going to make my dry rub. It's uh, two tablespoons of chili powder, a half a tablespoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of garlic powder, a teaspoon of ground black pepper, and if you want some cayenne pepper, you can put it in there. I did not. And a half a teaspoon of paprika. And I'm going to take, I'm going to put all this in my bowl. And then I'm going to just mix it all together. Like such. I'm going to put this dry rub on my meat. And rub it on there real good. And whatever's left over, I'm not going to I'm not going to use all of it on on the on the top here. Um, once I get it coated pretty good, I'm going to take I'm going to put this in my in my crock pot uh, that I have oiled up here. I'll move this over out of the way. Bring my crock pot over here. I've already put some Coat it with olive oil. I'm going to lay the meat down in it like such. I'll dump the rest of these spices on the top of it. I like to use a piece of parchment paper on my countertop just to keep it from getting any dirtier than it has to. So I'm going to take the rest of this rub and I'm going to put it on the top of it. And I'll just kind of even it out so that will soak into the meat and give it a lot of flavor. Okay, now I'm going to mix up my, uh, my liquid, which is going to be a half cup of beef broth uh, and some tomato paste and uh, a little bit of maybe a little bit more chili powder. I'll mix that up and I will be back. All right, I'm back and I've got my uh, spices on there. I poured my, uh, my mixture of of the beef broth and tomato paste and and I put a little a few garlic cloves in there a little bit and now I'm just gonna finish it off I'm just gonna top it off with just a little bit of this uh, this is Hidden Valley Ranch powdered dressing I don't know why but I, I think that's just gonna add a little bit more flavor make it taste good uh, to go in with all of the, the spicy stuff I think that'll kind of even it out so now that's all we do. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this in my crock pot. Uh, I'm going to put it on uh, probably on low for about six or seven hours. And then we will be back. We're going to plate up some of these. Here's the meats all shredded up. Took the meat a little bit to shred it up. And put it on this on here for me. Okay, get some, some of the meat out. I always put too much stuff on these things and then they won't roll up because I put so much on. A little bit more here. There we go. Take it and roll it up. Now Jacob, he doesn't really want like sour cream and things on his, um, but I like sour cream on mine. But Jacob, you're gonna give it a taste here. But this is the bottom. I get it. That's got a lot of flavor. What do you think, Jacob? Very tender. Mm. I like the I like the ranch seasoning in there. And I like the cheese. It's my favorite kind of cheese. We also want. Yeah, this really doesn't need a lot of other things. Um, but you could certainly put like tomatoes on it or peppers if you wanted to, or sour cream. But it's, it's just lovely uh, shredded 
like pulled beef with uh, cheddar cheese. It's just lovely the way it is. Mm. Wonderful. So this is a 10 out of 10. Two thumbs up. Make this for your family. It's so easy to make. You saw how easy it was to make it. Uh, and then just shred it up whenever it's, whenever it's cooked all the way. And uh, make this for your family. Uh, we're going to have this for the next couple days. We'll have some leftovers. And you can have this on buns uh, with cheese. You can have it uh, on tortillas. Um, we're going to have this. So please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And uh, tell your friends about us, won't you? And hit the notification bell so you can have other videos from us notified uh, whenever they're out. And uh, we'll keep doing our best. And, and So have a happy Easter. And until we see you again, God bless and have a great day.